New research has shown there's a one in six chance of a mega volcano eruption this century. And, as history shows, it would have terrifying consequences for mankind. While funding is pumped into preventing low probability scenarios such as asteroid collision, the far more likely threat of a large volcanic eruption is close to ignored. Despite much that could be done to reduce the risks, according to researchers. And unfortunately, the world is woefully underprepared for a massive volcanic eruption and the likely repercussions on a global supply chains, climate, and food production. In an article published in the Journal of Nature, scientists say that there is a broad misconception that risks of major eruptions are low and describe current lack of governmental investing in monitoring and responding to potential volcanic disasters as reckless. However, they couldn't be further from the truth. Researchers argue that steps can be taken to protect against volcanic devastation, from improved surveillance to increased public education and magma manipulation. And the resources needed to do so are long overdue. Now, data gathered from ice cores on the frequency of eruptions over deep time suggests that there is a one in six chance of a magnitude seven explosion in the next 100 years. That's a roll of the dice, said article co-author and CSER researcher, Dr. Lara Mani, an expert in global risk. Such gigantic eruptions have caused abrupt climate change, the collapse of civilization, and other devastating effects in the distant past. And Manny compares the risk of a giant eruption to that of a one-kilometer-wide asteroid crashing to Earth. Such events would have similar climatic consequences, but the likelihood of a volcanic catastrophe is hundreds of times higher than the combined chances of an asteroid or cometary collision. And hundreds of millions of dollars are pumped into asteroid threats every year. Yet there is a severe lack of global financing and coordination for volcano preparedness, according to the team. And this urgently needs to change. We are completely underestimating the risk to our societies that these volcanoes pose. Let's just take, for example, the eruption in Tonga in January. It was the largest eruption ever recorded instrumentally. The researchers in this paper argue that it, if, if this eruption had gone on longer or released just a little more ash or gas or occurred in an area full of critical infrastructure such as the Mediterranean, then the global shock waves would have been empire-ending, absolutely devastating. The Tonga eruption was the volcanic equivalent of an asteroid just missing Earth and needs to be treated as a wake-up call. Now, the paper authors cite recent research detecting the regularity of major eruptions by analyzing trace sulfur spikes. And these are in ancient ice samples. An eruption 10 to 100 times larger than the Tonga blast occurs every 625 years, twice as often as had been previously thought. Another wake-up call. Now, the last magnitude 7, or VEI-7 eruption, was in 1815 in Indonesia. An estimated 100,000 people died locally from this eruption at Tambora, and global temperatures dropped by a degree on average worldwide. 
The eruption caused massive crop failures that led to famine, violent uprisings, and epidemics in what was known as the year without a summer. We now live in a world with eight times the population and over 40 times the level of trade. Our complex global networks could make us even more vulnerable to the shocks of a major eruption. Financial losses from a large magnitude eruption would be in the multi-trillions of dollars and on a comparable scale to a pandemic, according to the experts. Manny and Cassidy, the paper authors, outline steps they say need to be taken to help forecast and manage the possibility of a planet-altering eruption and help mitigate damage from smaller, more frequent eruptions. These include a more accu accurate pinpointing of risks. For, for example, we only know locations of a handful of the 97 eruptions classed as large magnitude on the VEI index over the last 60,000 years. This means there could be dozens of dangerous volcanoes dotted the world over with the potential for extreme disrupt destruction that we just don't know about. And that means humanity has no clue. We may not know about even relatively recent eruptions due to a lack of research into marine and lake core samples, particularly in the neglected regions such as Southeast Asia. Now, volcanoes can lie dormant for thousands, if not tens of thousands of years, and still be capable of sudden and extraordinary destruction. Monitoring must be improved. Only 20% 27% of eruptions since 1950 have had a seismometer anywhere near them. And only a third of that data, again, has been fed into the global database for volcanic unrest. So once again, we are severely lacking in data and we are severely lacking in preparedness. Now, volcanologists have been calling for a dedicated volcano monitoring satellite for over two decades. And sometimes these scientists have to rely on the generosity of private satellite companies for rapid imagery, which is embarrassing, claiming that we know everything there is about the climate. Ludicrous. The experts also call for increased research into volcano geoengineering. This includes the need to study means of countering aerosols released by a massive eruption, which could lead to a volcanic winter instantly. The experts also say that work to investigate manipulating pockets of magma beneath an active volcano should also be undertaken, as this could stop major volcanic flows from progressing. Now, directly affecting volcanic behavior may seem inconceivable, but so did the deflection of asteroids until the formation of NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office in 2016. The risks of a massive eruption that devastates global society is very significant. And the current underinvestment in responding to this risk is simply reckless. Here we see just 12,000 years of data and we can see how Holocene large volcanic eruptions also correspond to sunspot numbers, high and low. And that's bad news. Because the sun is going quiet. And a super volcano somewhere is rumbling. And the next volcanic catastrophe is just around the corner. And the earth is woefully unprepared. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. You alone are the preparedness team to fight back. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And get growing. Get prepared. Have a bug out scenario. 
And by all means, if you can leave an area with large volcanoes, please do so. Things may be about to go boom.